Cybus. I'm Jane Cooper, the Global Transaction Services Editor at the Banker Magazine. And now we're in the afternoon of the first day at Cybos, and I'm joined by Scott Barton, who's the Chief Executive of GTS at RBS. Welcome. Hello, Jane. Thank you for joining us. And um, at lunchtime today at Cybos, there were hundreds of people eating lunch in a massive room. But despite the numbers of people, it was actually quite quiet. Now, people are sort of commenting on the kind of mood. Maybe this indicates everybody's a little bit somber. What, what would you do you sort of say about the mood of, of the event so far? Well, so it, it's, it's, the, it's the first day or the fir first morning. Uh, it's my first Cybos, so it's, it's difficult for me to compare previous sort of experiences and moods. But, but what I would say is that going around and, and talking to customers and going around the various exhibitions, there does seem to be a, a, a very much a focus on making sure that all conversations and discussions have some positive outcomes to them. So I wouldn't say the, the mood is somber. I would say that there seems to be a very business-like uh, very focused approach. Clearly, the backdrop, uh, sort of globally, and the macroeconomic backdrop, uh, is one that people are mindful of, and therefore, I think people are just very focused on making sure that they work hard at the relationships that they have. They make sure that they're tracking down all opportunities, and that there's a very business-like sort of focused agenda. Uh, that, that, that's the impression I have. But as I say, it's difficult to compare that from previous events. So what kind of um, changes would you say are important into the industry and what kind of changes are sort of on that agenda that everyone's thinking about? I think um, certainly it, the way we view the world uh, within RBS uh, from, a, from a GTS perspective is our, our biggest challenge is making sure that we manage and adapt to the change agenda. Uh, and that change agenda is, is whether it's around our customers' requirements in terms of uh, how, they're, how they're seeing business, how the risks that they're encountering, how they're trying to drive efficiencies from their business uh, against change, regulatory change uh, in the industry. We have BOW3, which is clearly talked about significantly at the moment. We have Dodd-Frank uh, in the US. We have SEPA in Europe. So there is a, a raft of uh, regulatory changes that are upon the industry, upon banking generally. You've got a, a, a backdrop of a macroeconomic environment which is pretty tough and difficult to forecast uh, where growth is coming from, particularly in the sort of Western and more mature worlds. So I, I think overall, it's trying to juggle and prioritise how do you how do you manage and adapt to these changes that are out there, uh, whilst you know keeping the show on the road, doing all the right things in terms of business as usual. So a lot going on uh, is our sense, and I think those that will be successful that come through it are people that can adapt and manage to change in an effective way. And uh, another sort of observation about Cybos is. Um, we were expecting, because it was on in North America this time, that perhaps there wouldn't be so many Asian banks represented here, but actually so far we've seen quite a few. Like, what, What's your sort of experience of dealing with um, counterparties or we, um, So we, I, I was fortunate that we accepted a, an excellence award from the Agricultural Bank of China this morning around our trade service uh, capability, and in particular the renminbi, in terms of the internationalization of the renminbi currency. Uh, my sense is that the, the Chinese banks, the Asian banks generally are here in force uh, quite right because given the growth in, in the world, given the emergence of these very powerful economies, whether it's uh, internationally or both the domestic agenda, uh, I'm certainly not surprised. I'd actually be surprised if they weren't here and they weren't in force as well. A big agenda. Uh, particularly if you look at some of the uh, other more subdued economies in, in the rest of the world. So Asian economies here, the financial institutions are here, and long may that be the case. Yeah, great. great. Well, thank you, Scott. Thanks for joining us. Thanks. And to watch more videos on The View from Cybos, look at the Banker website, thebanker.com.